Hey, welcome to Prophetic Lifestyles with Bernard Bolton. I'm returning today to the prophetic numbers 44444, and we've already uh, done uh, uh, an, an encouragement or an exhortation uh, on what those numbers mean. Of course, I've been reflecting on the number four this month because I've been in Atlanta now for four years. It's actually a week from today. It'll be my fourth year. And so as I was reflecting on the number four, um, I wanted to share with you some of the prophetic meanings of the number. Here's the last thing I'm coming back to talk to you, because when we look at numbers, and I plan on doing a class next month on how to unlock the meanings of the prophetic numbers, I hope all of you that are interested in knowing how to discern, how to discover the meaning of, how to decode the numbers, will join me in that masterclass in April. But uh, one of the ways that we discover the meaning of a number is by looking at how the number links to the Hebrew alphabet, the Olive Bet. And the unusual thing about the Olive Bet is of course, it's a prophetic. It is a uh, it is it is you know prophetic uh, alphabet, but each each letter looks like a picture, and it's linked to a number. So how you know how do we know that these numbers are prophetic and not demonic and not you know from the occult? Uh, how do we know the meanings of them? Because in the alphabet, which is the Hebrew alphabet when the Lord constructed or created the Olive Bet, he linked each letter to a number. So the number four is linked to the fourth letter of the Olive Bet, which is Dalet. And Dalet looks like a tent door. It looks like a door. It looks like the door to a tent. And so the number four, when you're seeing the number four, one of the things that I do is I go to the olive bed to see what does this number represent. I've already shared with you that if you see the number twice, it's being established. If you see it three things, if you see it three times, rather, it's it means that the number is completing something. So the number four is uh, represents the dialect which is the door. And the door, of course, represents what? It represents an entrance. And so one of the things that I'm that I'm uh, believing by faith is that in this fourth year that I'm entering in this month, that there is a great door. Well, the not only uh, does the number four speak personally to me, but then we're in the fourth year, 2024, on the, on the Gregorian calendar, and then we're in the fourth year of the Hebrew calendar, 5784. So the number four represents the door. And when the door is opened, it represents an entrance. So many of us are seeing the number four because the Lord is revealing to us that we are about to enter into something new, into some place new into a new relationship or a new job. I'm starting a new job next week, hallelujah. And that's the open door, but there's some other doors that's being opened uh, to me as well. And so the number four represents the open door, but it also can represent a closed door, okay? Many of the doors that are closed, however, they, they close because you are the one who is being called to close them, all right? So the number four can represent an open door and it can represent uh, a closed door. That's why I said that this year, 5784, is not just the year of the open door. I know there are many prophesying that and I pray that for all of you, but it, this is also the year to close the door because sin is waiting to enter in. And there are some of us, we have opened the door by wrong alliances, wrong covenants, uh, you know, wrong actions. And the things that we've been doing 
has opened the door and sin is waiting to come in and overtake us. So that's the door that needs to be closed. All right. And so listen, so where does this door exist? Well, the door exists in your life, but this open door or this door uh, uh, that is linked to number four is also, it is also linked to your heart. Your heart represents a door. So you open the door to your heart. And when you open the door to your heart, then your dreams will begin to manifest and your dreams and when your dreams leave your heart, they enter into the world to become reality. So this is also, when you're seeing the number four, it means to open your heart. Open your heart by faith. Open your heart by hope, by expectation, and let your dreams come forth. Now, there's one thing that I've been, that I was dreaming 10 years ago. I think, I think it was 10 years ago. And it didn't happen. And so I closed the door to it because I felt that it wasn't going to happen. But this year, the door has reopened. The door of my heart has reopened. And that particular dream is becoming a reality. And what I thought, and here I am 57 years old, and I thought that that door was closed. And it was closed. And I closed it because I felt that the thing I was believing for 10 years ago was not going to happen. But now the Lord has revealed to me that it can happen. And so I have opened the door of my heart and I'm letting that dream come into reality and live. All right. And so then lastly, when you're seeing the number four, okay, when you're seeing the number four, it also means, and I'm looking at my notes here, uh, you can make a decision because it's your decision. You can also make a decision to let the door of your heart remain closed. And that's why Jesus says, behold, I stand at the door and knock and any who hear my voice will open the door and let me in. So you can close your heart to the manifestation of Jesus in your life. We're, and of course, we're not just talking about salvation, but we're talking about making a place within us for Jesus to come and commune with us and to live with us and to dwell in us and to manifest in us. And if you close the door to him, then many of the things in your heart is going to die. Jesus enters our hearts in order to help us to cause those dreams that we're having to live. And so that is the, that is the mystery of the dialect. That is what the dialect represents. And so when you see the number four, link it to the, the number dialect, open your heart, let your dreams come forth and, uh, and, open, uh, and, and open an entrance to your heart and let everything in your heart that has been set there by your expectation, whether it comes from the Lord or whether it comes from personal desire and ambition, let all of those things open up and let them come forth. That is what I believe the number four, four, which the number four, four means it has been established and it shall come to pass. And then the number four, four, four means that it is, it is complete. It will be completed. It shall be completed and you will see it come to pass. All right. So God bless you. Uh, I pray that this has been a blessing to you. Please leave a comment. Uh, also, like this video, share it with others, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment. Let us know how this word is blessing you. We'll be back. Shalom.